Hello there, everybody. Welcome to another Binding of Isaac Repentance news video. This is probably going to be the last news video that I do for Repentance because it's going to be out sooner than we can uh, say Binding of Isaac Repentance will never come out. This is the new DLC to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, it's been teased for several years now, and we are finally on the home stretch. I'll, I'll skip to the point that you all want to know. Yes, the DLC is still slated to release here in 2020 by the middle of September, which is pretty much soon. We should have a Steam page uh, that you will be able to access, and Edmund's going to start doing more uh, blog posts about the DLC. So uh, we don't have a guaranteed release day yet, but we know that it will still likely be in 2020. And the DLC will be costing between $12 and $15, which you might say, wow, that's a lot. Um, Edmund has said that this DLC is about the size of Rebirth, which is a huge, huge DLC for the game. I mean, that's essentially uh, the entire base game again. Uh, and, and there's a lot of proof showing that this is going to be the case. We know that the DLC is adding Anti-Birth to the regular game. Anti-Birth is a huge mod pack that it literally feels like a brand new game and we know that there's more content being added on top of that so definitely reasonable in my books you know i tend to do things by the number of hours played is the number of dollars spent and you're definitely going to get 12 to 15 hours out of repentance so it's a completely fair price in my book over the past year, uh, since that's the last time I made a news video on Repentance, we've had a lot of new gifts and a lot of new news to, to talk about. So I'm going to put a couple of these up on the screen. You're currently, anytime I'm not talking about a gift, you're watching Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth content on my channel that you can check out. There's links to all that in the description, but Anti-Birth is what Repentance is based off of. So you're going to see a lot of the same gameplay that you'll end up seeing in Repentance. So this first GIF here, you can see Isaac with Brimstone, and there's something very exciting that you might not have catched. The Brimstone Beam can now push bombs, uh, which is something that has never been the case. Brimstone didn't have this knockback ability. Uh, so that that's a really fun new synergy that's going to... I like changes to already existing items. They've talked about doing more synergies for Mom's Knife more synergies for brimstone any anything that helps to add uh, more variety to the game is going to be high up there for me here you can see another gif uh, that tyrone posted this is uh tiny planet ipecac and soy milk uh, and you can see that that the rate of fire is a little bit higher than usual with ipecac and soy milk you can also see there's a new icon underneath the map this is a, a new icon to display curses that has been teased in other gameplay trailers as well. Uh, so this is showing that you have Curse of the Lost on this floor. The other curses have their own unique little styles that will show up underneath the map. So it's a, a really good way to quickly see what curse you have instead of tabbing and, and showing that there. This GIF shows another Brimstone synergy. This is uh, Brimstone and the Parasite, and oh my lord, is this one an interesting looking synergy. Uh, these are the kind of synergies, man, that I, I've been waiting for in the game for so many years. Uh, you just expect certain certain items to synergize with Brimstone, and they just don't. Uh, so seeing these new, new synergies come in is really quite exciting. In early January, Ed held a couple of AMAs, and then there's been a lot of AMAs since, so... Uh, when I when I state some of these facts, know that they're they're likely from AMAs that Ed was doing on Twitter. Uh, he talked about the fact that there will be confirmed two new characters in the game, both Bethany and Jacob and Esau. Uh, for those that don't know Anti-Birth and you think that I just said three names, Jacob and Esau are one character. They're two characters in one. Um, those two characters will be in Repentance. The scrapped character from Anti-Birth, Edith, which many people may know if they're, they're avid Anti-Birth fans, will not be in Repentance. Uh, it was an unfinished character in Anti-Birth. They are not porting the character to Repentance. So currently we can expect to see two new characters. I have done this road before. I've been on it. I know how this goes. There's probably going to be a secret character. But if there's not, uh, Ed has said two characters uh so that's that right we can expect two characters for sure uh if we get another character on top of it then then that's happy days right that's happy days here you can see a screenshot of bethany one of the new characters 
Uh, and there's a slight change from anti-birth on this one. You can see Book of Virtues, which is Bethany's starting item. It, it spawns fires around Bethany that then uh, shoot. Those fires shoot for you. Uh, that's kind of how Bethany deals a large chunk of damage. Um, Book of Virtues was nerfed in Repentance. Uh, here you can see it has four charges. In anti-birth, it has two charges. So that's a really interesting nerf. I always found Bethany to be a very hard character. Uh, by default anyway, uh, and now Bethany got a major nerf. So I'm interested to see if maybe Book of Virtues changes how it's done uh, here. The fact that there's two fires there, I don't know if maybe that's that's a sign that Book of Virtues will give you two fires instead of one, uh, and maybe that's how they're doing things, but uh, I have no idea. But I, I think this is an interesting change because like I said, I've found Bethany quite difficult in the past. Another quick thing to note, is that many of you are going to ask in this video, is it coming to console? Is it coming to Nintendo Switch? Ed has talked about this a lot. It is coming to PC first. It'll likely come to PC, as I said, in 2020. I wouldn't expect it to come to Switch or console in 2020. Uh, Ed hopes to have it on all consoles eventually. I think Nintendo Switch will be the priority just because the majority of Isaac players right now are on PC and Switch. Uh, and you might say, oh, but I'm on Xbox, I'm on PS4. The majority of players are on, on PC and Switch, and it's going to be the priority to get Repentance to those two consoles, because economically that makes the most sense for them. So I know that that's probably disappointing to some of you, uh, but expect it to be on PC first, and then probably Switch, and then later PS4 and Xbox. Here you can see a GIF of a new boss in Downpour which is one of the alternate floors of Repentance. This is Min Min, uh, and this guy looks absolutely abysmal, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, one of my least favorite enemies in all of Anti-Birth are the Fireflies. This is a boss that just continues to spawn the Fireflies. It seems like a disaster, man. I love it. Uh, freakishly difficult bosses is my jam, uh, and I'm really looking forward to fighting this guy. I already know I'm going to hate him. This gift shows a couple of things to talk about. This is the Isaac fight in Repentance, and there's there's definitely a couple things to talk about. First of all, Scissors has received a little bit of a nerf. Uh, it's now a four charge item, so uh, I suppose the two charge that was before is not good enough. You can see in the HUD on the right that Botfly will be returning from Anti-Birth. Ed has confirmed that most of the items from Anti-Birth will be in the game. Uh, ones that have redundant features that have already made it to Afterbirth Plus, such as like you know, Backpack or uh, the fact that Jacob's Ladder has a different name despite being a different item, things like that. Uh, those items will still make it to Repentance, it's just they're going to be changed in the end and reworded and things like that. So this confirms that Botfly will be there. Botfly is a pretty fun item, so I, I do enjoy that. You can see once again the curse indicator by the map. This is probably displaying Curse of Darkness, since you can see that we are in Curse of Darkness. Golden Horseshoe got a little bit of a glow up. Uh, it has a new sprite here. And uh, Deadeye has some new visuals. You can see that when they're firing. Uh, another really interesting thing, and we talked about this one a little bit in a previous uh, anti-repentance news video. The tier stat is now a decimal which is really interesting. Before the tier stat would be rounded uh, based on the tiers formula. I've talked about this in another video as well, uh, my all about tiers video, if you're interested in how the tier stat is calculated. But the tier stat is now a decimal, which means that maybe that, that has been changed and tweaked. Uh, and so I'm interested to play around with that and see how exactly that all changed. But having tiers not be a solid integer means that you might have more more unique runs because tiers ups are going to affect your run differently. We'll have to see how that plays out. Here's another example of synergies changing. This is chocolate milk, uh, technology, and Monstro's lung. And you can see this is absolutely different from how these items would have reacted in the past. Even just Monstro's lung and tech is, is an very, very fascinating uh, scenario, but add chocolate milk to the mix and you have these little wiggly lasers. Uh, it just looks really good. And, and as I said many times already, these synergies are going to give Repentance all kinds of life and make the game feel so much different from Rebirth. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. We talked about this previously as well. Uh, the lead dev of Anti-Birth, who is leading the dev of Repentance as well, has confirmed that Delirium will have a slightly different fight. 
Uh, it's going to be revamped to be more fair and less confusing. There's going to be less shadow hits from Delirium. Kind of the, the telefragging is going to be fixed. Uh, I haven't fought Delirium in months because I think the fight is horrible. Um, and one of the laziest things that they've ever put in the game. So I'm really excited to see that maybe that floor is going to be worth it to go to in the future. Uh, we'll see, right? We'll see. I'll believe it when I see it because right now Delirium is a total pain in my book. Some more facts that Ed talked about during an AMA. Uh, Repentance will be adopting the champion color system of Anti-Birth, which those of that have played Anti-Birth, the uh, champions are a lot uh, different and look better than the champions in Afterbirth Plus, so that's pretty good. Uh, Anti-Birth also has True Co-op, which many know as a mod for Afterbirth Plus that allows you to play with a friend playing as an actual character in the game instead of the babies. That will likely be ported to Repentance, so you'll be able to play with your friend locally. There will not be online multiplayer, uh, but locally you will be able to play with a friend and both pick up items and things like that. So that's going to be really fun for any uh, local players. Blank card will not be able to copy rune effects anymore. It has been confirmed that there is a new item, a blank rune type item that will be able to copy rune effects. But the days of blank card Yera will in fact die in repentance. And there's going to be more tweaks like that uh, that change change the game to be a little bit more balanced, a little less uh, less chaos. And many people think that this is a bad thing. I've talked about this ad nauseum in the past. I think it's a really good thing moving forward for the game. Um, that's coming from someone that has a lot of hours in the game, but I can understand people that are upset about kind of game breaking synergies leaving the game, but we'll see how it plays out. We'll see if, if they end up doing tweaks to it in the future, if things are too hard or too easy. Uh, but I think this is a good thing to have the game more balanced. Many people know that the anti-birth knife pieces uh, are received by doing little puzzles on the three main anti-birth floors. Those puzzles will be changed in Repentance, so if you know them in anti-birth, they will not be the same in Repentance. We'll have to relearn stuff in Repentance, which I find to be pretty exciting. Ed has also leaked that there is going to be a, a slight rework of the Keeper, um, don't know what that rework is going to be. I think it would be quite easy to just allow him to get HP upgrades and have it be more coin hearts, maybe capping at six. Uh, we'll see, you know, I, I, I'm not in Ed's brain. I don't know what he's doing, but I think that that would make the keeper a lot of fun. Here's another gift that Tyrone posted of showing changes to telekinesis. You can now see that there's a visual effect for the radius that it can pick up the shots. Uh, and the time is a little bit shortened to pick them up, but then you, you have a pretty vivid understanding of how it's going to work. You can also see in the top right, there is another uh, curse indicator below the map that's likely showing uh, Curse of the Unknown for your health. As you can see that we don't know what our health is here, um, and the, the curse indicator is in the shape of a heart anyway, so that makes a lot of sense. Ed has also said that there is going to be a new tier modifier in the update that is going to be similar to a tech x or brimstone in its uh efficiency to kill enemies i suppose is a good way to word that uh pills are also going to be changed in some way uh maybe this is going to prevent uh the randomness of pills and the fact where nobody ever knows what they're going to get and a lot of you know players in the game including myself recently have just been deciding to not take pills because most of the time they're not worth it to really use anymore uh, because they, they can just completely ruin your run with a, a tears down or an HP down early in the game. Ed has said that there may be booster packs in Repentance, but these won't necessarily be announced and would just be a surprise. So if he wanted to add some more content to the game, he would just do it. He also explained that the Witness, the final boss of Anti-Birth, will not have the giant room design that it has in anti-birth it will instead be in a smaller room but then the witness itself will be changed to fit that new design so uh, a lot of people love the huge room fight that the witness has i think the witness is an incredible fight and a lot of fun so i'm hoping that the the new version in repentance stands up and is still a, a, an insanely fun fight but we'll have to see all right we'll have to see here's a couple of new enemies these are new gifts of new enemies uh that ed posted on twitter uh and they are Super short in their in their length of the gift, but 
Uh, the enemies look very cool. They look like they, they might be in Corpse, which is the uh, later floor before you fight the Witness in, in Anti-Birth. And then finally, uh, Tyrone has posted the title screen for Repentance, which looks really, really good. Uh, I, I love how the logo works. It's super clean. Uh, I just want to I want to see the fly fluttering and bouncing around because I'm excited to get my hands on this game. As I've said, I don't know anything special beyond what you guys know about Repentance. Uh, I'm, I'm just a lowly bystander looking at the information that they've posted all over the place and then sharing it with you guys. But this DLC will come in 2020. I'll, I'd say I'd eat a sock if it doesn't, but I don't really want to because this has been pushed back so many times. But we have faith. We have faith that, that this DLC will release in 2020. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you have questions about Repentance uh, that I maybe have the chance of answering, then you can leave them down below. But I don't know anything special, so don't expect me to know everything uh, in detail. I just know what uh, has been posted in the public. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, check out my anti-birth series. I got a bunch of anti-birth videos. They're good preparation for watching and playing some good Repentance gameplay. So check that out. I'll see you guys in the, the next video. Hopefully I'll see you in Repentance. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.